Hi, my name is Carolyn Hall and I'm a naturopath in Thornbury and I have a website which is www.carolynhall.com.au. Today I want to talk to you about the prevention and healing of cold sores. Now if you're a cold sore sufferer, you probably know the signs of what makes you vulnerable before you get one. Um, often it's when you're a bit run down, you haven't been getting enough sleep. Um, sometimes if you're a woman, it's when you're um, premenstrual as well. Um, and sometimes it's actually when you feel angry and irritable and if you haven't um, allowed yourself to express that anger in a healthy way or you've just bottled it up inside of you, often it can actually come up as a cold sore and you can see one one or two days later after this happens. So it's like something's actually under your skin, that's, that's the sensation and that's what can manifest in your physical body. So there's a few things that you can do to prevent cold sores from coming on and to actually do when you want a cold sore to heal fast. So one thing is to avoid certain foods which are actually really rich in an amino acid called arginine which actually kind of feeds the cold sore virus. And those foods in particular which are really rich in arginine are things like chocolate and unfortunately and nuts and seeds, so that's all nuts and seeds. And also lamb is also um, one of those foods. There are quite a few um, natural supplements that you can take which are antiviral and really help to suppress the virus. Um, zinc and vitamin C are a couple of those antioxidants that support the immune system. And also lysine, which is an amino acid which actually helps to suppress the herpes virus. There's a couple of really good um, retail products that you can get from the health food shop or even the supermarket. Um, there's a couple of good formulas which have all three of those things. One is the Thompson's brand and another one is Blackmore's as well. But there's plenty of other ones as well. So... Um, there's also some really great antiviral herbs that I uh, recommend, which are antiviral and um, help your immune system fight the virus. Those herbs are Andrographis, Echinacea and Melissa. And um, you can take them to prevent a cold sore and you can also take them when you have a cold sore as well. Also the tissue salt, Nat Myrrh, which um, is a homeopathic mineral is also really effective in prevention and the healing of cold sores as well. And homeopathic minerals um, in the form of tissue salts are great. They're very safe, very effective, and um, you can take them in high doses for short periods of time. So um, the other thing you can use is flower essences, which helps you with the emotional stuff that comes up with a cold sore, because often there's the feelings of shame that you want to hide away, you're really conscious of people looking, and there's some beautiful flower essences that can really help with that emotional stuff side of it as well. Um, also, a lot of this information is really relevant if you suffer from genital herpes as well. So if that's um, an issue, you can take those things on as well. If we're talking about cold sores, though, if you want to use something topically that's completely natural, is actually using fresh lemon juice, which is a very strong antiviral. It's very stingy and sticky, but it's actually amazing um, on top of a cold sore to help kill that virus as fast as you can. So I want to thank you for listening to my video about cold sores. I hope you found it useful and you've picked up some new tips. I just really want to say also it's really important um, to just double check that any supplement you take from a general um, advice from general advice it's always good to just double check that it's a good thing to do with a natural healthcare practitioner um, my next video is going to be about healthy digestion and what you can do to improve your digestive function naturally uh, today I just want to say if you have any natural health tips of your own about cold sores um, it'd be great to hear and see your comments or if you have any more questions for me. Okay, thanks for listening. I'll see you later. See you next week.